Correct, correct. People already be so be regretted lying to KBAC. Yes, about uh, this uh, pregnancy of a thing. That is what we are hearing. Because as of yesterday, we heard that uh, already to be made some calls for her family to come over to the palace to come and plead with KBAC's forgiveness that uh, she is so sorry for faking her pregnancy. That she is so sorry for all the acts that uh, she put on about this pregnancy thing. That she's so sorry for spreading pregnancy, fake pregnancy news all over palace and outside palace. And we heard uh, his, uh, her, her family came to the palace. We heard they were kneeling down, pleading with KBAC to have mercy where Orobi Tobi is. That such a thing will not repeat itself again in the palace. As far as they are unconsigned, that you see all these uh, Orobis where they give uh, Orobi Tobi fake advice, that they will make sure that uh, Orobi Tobi doesn't uh, associate with them, that Orobi Tobi will turn to be a new leaf, that she will be a changed person, that KBAC should find a place in his heart to forgive Orobi Tobi. Yeah, this is what they came yesterday. Orobi Tobi family came yesterday to back KBSC because we had already Toby did a lot yes we know she did a lot with that pregnancy of a thing she committed many crimes yes she fought the the wives of KBS other wives of KBSC because of this pregnancy of a thing even KBS at a point everything where KBSC tell him she said no we don't know what Lily came over already Toby the doctors where KBSC bring for inside palace Orobi Tobi said no, they will not attend to her because she knew truly that she is not uh, pregnant. Like people were saying that you see Toby, she not say she know they're pregnant. She can't they fake everything up and down. Can't they pretend that she's pregnant so that KBSC go they give him uh, special attention. That is the thing she is doing. She got the fact that she's pregnant. Even at a point, she said that she's carrying a baby boy just to compete with Queen Naomi. She keep on putting different acts in the palace till everything concerning this fake pregnancy started uh, surfacing. Starting when uh, Miriam told said she know they're pregnant. From there, we had uh, Babala Wolf look for her enter palace. From there, she started having cramps. And when she was rushed to the hospital, that was when everything was exposed. That there is no baby in this stomach. Series of scans were went undergone. Series of uh, ultrasound, everything, all the lab that needed to be done for to see that baby that is in uh, Orobitobi's stomach. But everything was abortive. There was no 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 life inside uh, Toby's uh, stomach. And that is when Toby now come down to start listening to what people are saying. Because she, before she was paying deaf ears, parading herself around that she's pregnant. At a point, people started insinuating that this pregnancy not be pregnancy on a fibroid. Yes, people talked, said a lot about this pregnancy, fake pregnancy where you see Toby, the parade. Okay, now everything done scatter. Everything has been exposed. That Toby is not pregnant. And she stayed almost um, three or four days in the hospital. KBSC Talk said he no go go there visit her. Because he is the one that wants to give him give her the best. And Toby rejected. That if Toby finished staying in the poor hospital, that uh, he is praying for her to get well, that she should return back to the palace. And Naima Orobi Toby stayed and stayed till the day she was discharged. She came down, she came back to the palace. And when KBS was going out when she was coming in. Immediately she ran out from her car, knelt down in front of KBS, started crying, begging KBS for forgiveness. Because she doesn't know what KBS wants to do. She doesn't she doesn't know the plan of KBS. So she was so scared that KBS might chase her out of the palace. So we heard she started crying, begging KBS to forgive her. That she knows that she has wronged. And we had KBSC no talk to Rambo. KBSC left. She was so restless. 
and she started making calls immediately, calling her family to come over. And yesterday, her family came over pleading with Kabiesi. Yes. And they finalized the, that Kabiesi talks, say, she know they send them out of the palace, so, but she, you people need to caution your daughter. Yes. She needs to be well cautioned because she's so wild the way she acts everything concerning her. And that is what Kabiesi said. Go and caution your daughter that I don't have any uh, daughter, I don't have any problem with uh, her. Because I don't already know their character in this palace. So all these things where they do, you know, they surprise me again. Yes, I, I, already, I already know how they behave. So I won't tell you that anything you see in that palace is surprising me. No, it doesn't surprise me any longer. Because I have seen a lot. So Naim, uh, after discussing, Olorizobi family, after discussing with uh, Kabisi, they came out to advise uh, Olorizobi to start acting like a, uh, like a good woman. Be a good woman for your husband. Be a good wife. And stop putting up characters up and down. That he, he is fed up with all of you. The way he was talking inside shows that uh, Kabisi is fed up with all of you. And you need to turn a uh, to a new leaf in order to buy his heart back. Because as it is, he doesn't care for all of Una for inside palace. So all these things is what they told Oloritobi as of yesterday. And we heard that since that yesterday, Oloritobi has been calm. Yes, he know the two talk, he know the two come out. He has been in one place. Thinking about her life, regretting all these mistakes that uh, she made to go and fake pregnancy because they want to see that they are in the same level with Queen Naomi without knowing that it took Queen Naomi how many years to conceive and then uh, okay she came to the palace before you know it she has conceived before before a year plus uh, uh, nine months she don't give birth now stay for how many I don't think she stayed up to one year in the palace before leaving you won't come palace can't do the same Make you conceive immediately, give birth, so that you go start dragging a property with Queen Naomi. So everything don't they afford now. God don't talk and say all of them are not going to give birth again. Because everything will not commit. You don't plenty. You need to ask Queen Naomi for forgiveness. But although Ritobi wants to prove that what the God said are wrong, that they are giving fake prophecy. That is why she was running around. Looking for a way to conceive. But all to not avail because she is not pregnant like we had. And she has been regretting for lying for Kabiesi. That if she had known, she would not have lied though. Yes, because look at uh, where all this lie have uh, landed her. So my correct people now the matter where we they here. So say, although we told done they regret all her actions in the palace and is willing to turn to a new leaf. I beg make you now drop comment at the comment section concerning this matter. And do not forget to click on your notification bell to always get updated from us about waiting the software inside the palace.